Emily from The Pinning Mama. Um, welcome to Silhouette Bootcamp Lesson 3. If you are on YouTube watching this, um, hop on over to the blog. It's www.thepinningmama.com. This is a great place to leave comments and to follow on with this whole, um, all these lessons from Bootcamp. They're going to be posted every Friday. Um, I'm going to start with Lesson 2 instead of Lesson 1, which was done in the previous Bootcamp series for, um, for Version 3. Because the software has not really, the software has changed, but the way for f accessing files and saving files hasn't changed. So we're going to start with lesson two. Um, and lesson two is going to be how to group and ungroup and make and release compound paths in Silhouette Studio. Um, before we get started, a couple things to help you get the most of your experience. This is for version four of the Silhouette software. Um, we're going to Group, we're going to do group, ungroup, and compound paths, which can be a little bit. Um, compound paths, I think, can be the most confusing, but we're going to. I'm going to walk you through it. So to group and ungroup, I just pulled this file from the Silhouette Studio um, Design Store, and it looks it's just like this. I moved it over, and it it comes to you like this. So what I like to do is I like to. Um, Hold on, highlight it, and I like to ungroup. This way I can ungroup and I can color all my pieces a different color. I like to color them. Um, it makes it easier to see when you group them all together. So what I like to do is I like to color them and then I like to put them how I want them to be grouped together. So I'll just move them over like so. Just kind of how you want it. It doesn't even have to be exactly how the design is that you bought or that you have or whatever. Um, but I does I like to color them because then I can see kind of what I'm doing. Um, and then you want to shift, hold everything down and shift and group everything together. Um, highlight everything first. And then you want to right click and you want to group it all together. In a group. That way, if I wanted to increase the size of my picture, I could, or I could make it smaller, and it all moves together. Um, so that is a little bit about grouping. Um, it's it's pretty straightforward. Um, oh, it looks like I didn't get the back one. I would need to group again with that back one in there. But anyway, that's kind of how grouping works. Uh, the easiest way to find it is right, right click, group, and ungroup, or you can go up to object that you have highlighted and find it there as well. It also shows you um, quick things you can do on your keyboard to group and ungroup. This one would be command G or shift command G to ungroup. So anyway, that's a little bit about grouping. Um, the next one was a bit confusing. It's compound paths. Let me move over to here for you. Um, compound paths is a pretty trick. It's kind of tricky to understand. It's a compound path is similar to grouping, but with a compound path, the inner lines are embedded in the design. So how shapes inter it kind of is how shapes interact with each other and how they are filled with color. Um, let me show you. Let's let's talk. Let's do, let me show you. I'm going to do a shape of a donut. So I'm going to do. Shift and hold to make a perfect circle. Shift, oops, shift and hold right there. And then again, I'm going to um, color my circles. It just makes it easier. So I'm going to color the larger circle a donut color. We're going to do a donut. And I'm going to keep the smaller circle uncolored or transparent. Um, I'm going to place the smaller circle on top of the larger circle and it takes on the color of the donut color and it, that's not how you really want your shape to be. Uh, if you were to cut it, you would want, say I was, I was going to make a cupcake topper, I wouldn't want to cut this because that's not the donut shape that I want. Um, so I want to somehow make this design one. Make the make the software think I'm making this all one design. So I'm going to highlight everything. Make sure there's a 
a small box and then a larger box. And I'm going to right click and see where it says make a compound path. I'm going to click make a compound path and see how that then it causes the middle of my donut to be transparent again. And I can move it all as one design together as a compound path. Or I can do it smaller. I can move my design over. So anyway, that's kind of a little bit on how to do a compound path. Um, I usually don't design compound paths. I'm usually more releasing a path. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. But this is if you were just designing, you know, like a, a compound path or a donut and you wanted to make the design all one, you would make a compound path. So anyway, that's how you do a compound path. Um, let's go over and talk about releasing the compound path. So I'm going to go over here and I want to choose um, this one. And let's write my name. I'm going to make it bigger. Well, highlight it. I'm going to make it bigger so you can see it. Okay. So, and everything's grouped together. So if I try to move a letter, it's two groups. So I'm going to actually right click and ungroup these letters so that I can move everything on its own. If I wanted to move a letter up and down, I wanted to cut letters a certain way, I'm going to move it like that. I'm going to just pull this Y down. I'm going to make it bigger so I can show you what I mean about releasing the compound path. What I really want to do here is I want to release this distress part of my name because if I tried to cut that it would not look very good so let me show you what I mean by kind of getting rid of all of this distress because I liked the way I like the way it looks when it's written but if I were to cut this it, it would would not turn out very well so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna release a compound path on this letter what it does is it takes every part of that design which was meant to be designed as a whole and I'm going to release it all and I'm going to go through and start deleting all these little things that I don't want in my letter. This if you have like a big design and say you had a boat and you wanted to make this sail bigger you could release that compound path and just go over to the cell and make it bigger or you have distressed lettering but you don't want all the distresses all the distress to be on your lettering you want to just a, a few of it to be on there this is the way you can release a compound path and kind of design something make it a little more your own design you could also just move the letter over and then erase all of these little distressing so see how that kind of just left the letter that way so that's a little bit about releasing a compound path um, I hope this helps and gives you a little light on grouping and ungrouping and compound paths. If you have any questions, always go over to my blog and leave questions. Um, more lessons are going to be coming in our boot camp. It's going to be weekly. Um, the next lesson is going to be lesson three next Friday. Um, if you have any more questions or comments, again, go over to the blog. Um, and you can always get on the email list for the silhouette. Then you'll know exactly when things are coming out. We'll send, send you an email before. You can keep, in, keep on with that. So thanks, guys, for listening, and we'll see you next week.